Hey, what's up, guys? This is Misery Yuen with WWDB TV, and you are watching Misery Loves Company. Today, my special guest is someone I've known my whole life. I hold her very dear to me. I love her to pieces. My cousin, Aja Chansey. Yay! <laughs> Hi! How are you? Been good. You look Hi, great. Thank I love you. I love your dress. Thank you. You like it? This year's. Uh, yeah. I made your closet. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> well, you look great. Have Thank a seat. You. God, it's been so long since I've seen you. It's been couple almost years. two years now. Yeah, a couple years. You kind of went into hiding. What happened with that? She's annoying. I'm just <gasps> kidding. <laughs> <laughs> not, I swear to God, it's not. Right. Uh, and she says I'm the mean one. I know. Misery loves company. It's true. <laughs> it's very, very true. Um, I don't know. Life, I guess. Like... Mm, things just weren't going uphill mm -hmm. and I kind of pulled away from everything that I was doing. Um, I did find a new love in cooking and food. <laughs> Hence the, nice. a little weight. But now that I'm coming back to everything that I was doing before, I feel mm -hmm. great. So, yeah. How about you? What have you been up to? Um, just working, I guess. Just trying to build my empire. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> trying to, you know. One person at a time. Yes. <laughs> hey, just conquer the world, you know, mm -hmm. it's all you can do. I'm one of the soldiers, so. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, what was one of your favorite dishes that you cooked? Or, like, do you just kind of do a little bit of, like, everything? Or um, I got into Italian because it's mostly the simplest oh, thing. Oh, it's very heavy, though. My favorite so far for today was your patsiu in your refrigerator. <laughs> I did eat some of that before I got into <laughs> today. Look, I made too much food. Eat it, please. Yeah. Eat all of it. Take it with her, you. <laughs> I hear her calling from the other room. Aja, make sure you eat some pots to eat in the refrigerator. I made too much. <laughs> <laughs> Go eat the food. <laughs> yeah. So other than that, um, everything's been looking good. A lot better for this yeah. year. Mm -hmm. 2020. So much better. <laughs> How much weight did you put oh on? Oh, my God. Like, Personal questions now. <sighs> well, you said that you put on like ten pounds. Like ten, ten pounds. Oh my yeah. god! I used to be. Oh bit. my god, Shamu over here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, free Lily. Um, I gained about ten pounds. I've lost a few, uh, in a good way, not in yeah, a yeah. stressful type of. Mm -hmm. I'm so depressed way. Uh, now I'm trying to work out, trying to get the butt going on here. <laughs> yeah, I can never get to your butt because your butt's just really just natural butt. But I'm trying to get the butt here. Um, move the 10 pounds down here. Uh, about 10 pounds. Yeah, when I first started modeling, uh, I was 95 pounds, 5'5 five five and 95 pounds. So I was like a stick figure. Right now, I'm like 140 pounds. So imagine this 45 pounds lighter. I was like super yeah you were super pretty small skinny. You're but like really luckily I, I gained weight in the right spots yeah <laughs> so. you were really athletic though <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, yeah I'm really nice. not near as strong but as I used to weight, be though, right? Happy with it. Happy with it. I'm making too much yes. food. I'm not coming over enough for, <laughs> to help her eat it. <laughs> I've been gone for like two years. This is what happens, you guys. I've been kind of lazy the last couple years, too. I've been like not really uh, doing anything. I've just been like at home, and mm -hmm. I think that's what caused my weight gain as well. Yeah. Just, like, Video games. Hey, you don't you ever video blame anything games. on my video yeah, games. Video games, no. I <laughs> just got into, um, well, not just got into, but you know the holidays, you would play the retro games, the Nintendo and mm -hmm. Super Nintendo. Yeah, yeah. I just got Wrecking Crew, and I'm addicted so bad. What is that? The Wrecking Crew, okay, so there's um, the Mario, and then mm -hmm. there's the anti-Mario, and you just go around. It's kind of like Wreck-It Ralph, uh -huh. but the Mario version. What and platform you just, is that on? Um, the NES. Okay. Yeah, and you just start smacking shit, stuff. <laughs> That's just fine. You can just I've, start smacking things. But I've had every game on Super Nintendo and Sega, and I've, I've never heard of that one. It's, it's weird. No, it's just the Nintendo, though. Not the Super Nintendo. Oh, it's just the Nintendo? cartridge, right? It, that's the, the Super Nintendo? Oh, no, that's the regular Nintendo. The Nintendo is the one that goes in and then down. The Super Nintendo goes on top. Oh, shit, I have the Hyper... Uh, the Hyper... Hyper something. The one that has both. Because I'm not a die hard. Oh. Yeah, I just die a lot, not die hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Jeez. But uh, the Wrecking Crew, that's what I'm addicted to right now. Yeah? Hours. It's annoying. 
yeah, I know you came it. over last now night. We have to, now, we, now I have to play with you. And now you understand. <laughs> she came over last night. She's like, I haven't seen you in years, and you're not even getting off your video game. I'm uh -huh. like, but yeah, yeah I love okay. you too. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that one, yeah, the one with the ponytail, that's me. Hold on, wait. <gasps> <laughs> you gotta play that game with me. I think that would be yeah. freaking hilarious. I was getting dizzy just watching you. Were you? Yeah. It's different playing. I, yeah. I have a hard time watching other people play too, but yeah. like when I play, it's it's a lot easier. Because mm -hmm. you control it yourself, you know? You, so. Yeah, you know before what your maneuvers are. It took me, I have vertigo, so um, I can't play anything in first person shooter. It makes me extremely nauseous and extremely dizzy. And, uh, Dead by Daylight is one of the few games because I just kind of like forced myself into it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I forced myself to get used to all the controls and the maps and stuff like that. So that's one of the very few games that I can actually play. Um, Don't believe her. She's not forcing anything. <laughs> 14 hours later, still yeah. forcing it. Still forcing it, Did guys. Did you shower? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> what day is it? <laughs> Depends what day is it. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> So what have you what have you been up to these past years? You've just been cooking and staying home, like yeah, staying home, um, doing a lot of recipes, hanging out with the family a lot, spending a lot more time with the family. I've been dabbling a little bit in opening an online boutique. Oh really? So yeah, that w that's been pretty fun. Um, very hard though. What are you trying? I to love sell? fashion, uh, women's fashion, okay. women's fashion lingerie. And I never thought fashion could be so tedious. Oh my gosh, just shopping for myself is already fun. But then when you're shopping for other women mm -hmm. to buy it, oh yeah, that's a whole different monster in itself. So yeah, that's been pretty fun. Did you literally? Because every woman has like their own preferences. Mm -hmm. It could literally be the placement of one strap that could cause someone to like yeah, not like, like something. It. Yeah, it doesn't look right on my body. <laughs> so the different sizes, the different styles, the different colors. For every single woman or man out there, I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, I, I'm, Whatever your I'm, in, is, I'm into that, so, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it. yeah, it's been an adventure, but it's really fun. Yeah, do it you takes design your own stuff, no. or do you just uh, no. have like wholesalers you no, buy I it wish from? I could design. I have no fashion sense ever. So you uh, think so? No. You have. You want me to draw something for you? I will stick figure draw something for you. <laughs> And, sh and she'll show you how terrible it is. My honest drawing. I'll do it after this watch. You'll see. But uh, no, I just uh, purchase from distributors mm -hmm. and then uh, sell it to the, the end retailer. What is the name of your, um, do you have a name for your boutique yet? Not yet. Still oh. working on it. I'm collecting inventory right now and a certain mm -hmm. style. So that's um, what you've been doing for this whole year. So yeah. you really actually haven't been sitting around doing nothing like she said. Yeah. She's actually been working <laughs> on building something. Yeah. So that's that's awesome. That's yeah. really cool. Thank you. Um, how, how did you get started at, in modeling, by the way? Uh, years ago, I went to a car show. <laughs> it always starts at car shows. It's always, <laughs> always, always car shows. So I went to the car show, and this was Hot Import Nights years ago. I'm not sure if they're still around, but I'm sure they're still around. And I saw these cute little girls running around taking pictures and everything. I said, oh, I want to be that. And I was just <laughs> a spectator in my regular jeans and t-shirts and stuff. And I want to be cute, <laughs> you <laughs> know? I was just an, a normal girl. So after that, I uh, connected with one of the, the model agents there mm -hmm. and started networking with them and show hopping around. Mm -hmm. and meeting other girls and after that got into the outfits mm -hmm. and the outfits are always crazy you could always dress up all crazy and then a lot of the girls love the outfits that I coordinated I have a friend that coordinates it with me mm -hmm. and uh, after that I thought about just opening a business about it that's and awesome. I, you know, I already spend so much time shopping, so yeah, I just <laughs> well buy more. If and you're good so at something, like, don't ever do it for free. That's exactly, how I right? feel about yeah. it. You know, if you're, it's something you, especially if it's something you enjoy. You know, mm -hmm. whether it's making the fashion, fashion making it. costumes. Like mm -hmm. if you don't have a passion for it, you're mm -hmm. just gonna like end up hating yourself at the end of the day. Yeah. You know, so that's, and even that's if cool. you don't make money with it, mm -hmm. at least you're still having fun. If you're doing something that you completely hate, mm -hmm. trying to make money then you're just going to hate it. But if you're doing something you love and trying to make money and you don't make money, at least you're doing something. Yeah, you at least you're still enjoy. enjoying your time and your yeah. life and everything goes like really well. So, mm -hmm. of course. What else have you been like 
up to. It's just I feel like we're just like catching up because it's been yeah. it's been how long been years. Okay. I know. <laughs> it's been how long. Um, other than that, just regular life. Any um, other okay. events or anything that you're that are coming up that you're doing or. Um, you just kind of like going with the flow with the and flow, seeing see what where happens. It is. I I did a lot of different things. I did everything from car shows to fashion. No, not high fashion or anything, but uh, just fashion, even adult things, mm -hmm. adult shows. Mm -hmm. So I'll see where I'm gonna land. I'm probably more likely gonna be landing back to the adult, just because mm -hmm. that was. That was really fun. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. There's yeah. nothing wrong with the adult industry at all. Mm -hmm. Like, um, you know, it's if it's something you genuinely enjoy, then mm -hmm. go for it. If it's something that you're being forced into, then no, mm -hmm. of course not. But, you know, it's your choice as an adult yeah. to be an adult actor, you know, so, yeah. 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 I've been going to a lot of the, the rave events also. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those festival, the music festival. Ever since uh, I took you, uh, turned you out to EDC. I know. <laughs> Okay, this woman has changed my life in the music. Uh, I, I took her to taste? two EDCs, <laughs> and I lost her both times within ten minutes ten going minutes. through the front door. Ten minutes. So the first time we go in, and <laughs> the second terrible. we get in, we just split. And I was like, oh, I lost her. And it was the Pac-Man. I said, oh, Pac-Man. She and saw was something just bright lights. and shiny, just and she just lights. ran off. I ran, and the second time she tried to leash me. The second time I was like, I have yeah. to use the bathroom. Wait here. Yeah. Okay. okay. Wait here. Okay. Here. Right here. <laughs> okay. I come back. Damn it! <laughs> Gone. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Oh, after those events, but it was awesome. I'm smart enough to where I keep the keys. <laughs> mm -hmm. So when yeah. I'm ready to leave, I'm out. Like, She's gone. You're on your own, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. I already know that you I can... shouldn't even go to the parking lot. The car's not going to be there. She's <laughs> going to be home. All I do is just Uber and wait, what, two hours for an Uber <laughs> to take me 0.5 miles to your place? <laughs> yeah, I live like. Long. I live walking distance to yeah, EDC. You could, really. you could really walk not that over there. You'd you be can walking see the lights and, and you can hear the music. Oh yeah, from how close? You uh, go like, out in my backyard and watch the fireworks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but after that it was really fun. And then I started going to other events. Um, so there was EDC, there was uh, Beyond Wonderland, a lot of events in San Francisco. The smaller venues, mm. those are a little easier to kind of tame rather than a huge festival, <laughs> three or four days, yeah, like two yeah. or three days. It's just massive, it's a lot of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> what do you enjoy about the festival experience? Like what keeps you going back? Like what are some of your favorite little things about it? <gasps> the outfits. <laughs> Again, <laughs> the, the with the fashion. The out, yeah. Yes, I have so many outfits that I organize and it's kind of sad where you only have one day to wear it. Mm -hmm. So I want to wear more outfits for other festivals, but I'm um, going to see all the other girls there all dressed up and some of them have lights in their shoes, lights in their pasties. You had it, like, <laughs> pasties. I, you had, the I had light up spinners. spinner pasties. Yeah, on here. <laughs> the most awesome pasties. I haven't seen anything that creative <laughs> ever since. Okay, her pasties, <laughs> you could spin it and it's just... <laughs> just we'll but, add a video clip of that. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, it's hilarious. Maybe, I don't know. It's hilarious. <laughs> Um, but the outfits and the people. The people is just completely different than who you would meet on, on the streets or in oh, yeah. a Everyone comes normal life. Everyone comes to festivals mm -hmm. with this idea of like wanting to build a community mm -hmm. and love and it's all peace, happiness, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's a very accepting. life. It's yeah, very, it's very, very accepting. accepting. Yeah. No matter what type of life you live, no matter what you choose for your own personal life, other people will accept you for who you are. Exactly. And in, in the regular life, they try to say that, but they don't really accept you. Yeah, yeah, There yeah. will always be some kind of judgment. But mm -hmm. when you walk through those doors, everything is just there. Everything's so free yeah. and like everyone's like super kind. Yeah, and, yeah. and yeah. I'm, I'm too friendly. You always say that about me. You're just, you're too nice. <laughs> she <laughs> so, is. It's, it's, almost, it's like I'm a borderline nice. scary I, I because know. like you're just like friendly yeah. with everyone and it just like terrifies me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so I feel so she just goes missing and I'm like, great. Right. What, great. Do do? what do I do? There's a tracker device on my shoe, but I lost <laughs> my shoe because I'm clumsy. And I, just, <laughs> I know. I'm going to put a, um, an ankle bracelet on you. Yeah. And, just, and no, like a, like, like, one on my arm so I can like just yeah. track wherever you go. <laughs> Find her. <laughs> <laughs> that 
that would be fun. Yeah. That would be a lot of fun. Yeah. We ruined my whole festival experience yeah, trying, trying to track to find you the dot. down. <laughs> find the dot. Put you in a Waldo costume next time we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I used to have red hair, so you could always spot me. Now I have a little more blendable hair. Now yeah. Do it stands out. Yeah, your hair color changes every time I see I you. Know. I mean, I haven't seen you in like a really long time. I, I like this though. It looks good. I like this one. I like this one too. And it washes out pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, my hair is like still more blonde pastel. under this. I just mm -hmm. you know, the wigs. Wigs are always so easy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't have to do anything. I wore a wig to a concert. Okay. Someone stole my wig. <laughs> <laughs> right? How okay. did that even happen? So I wore um, I wore a really mint, a nice mint short pastel wig to uh -huh. the Post Malone concert in Oakland, I believe. And it got really hot, okay? It got just stupid hot. So I took my wig off, just messed up my hair. I'm fine for the rest of the concert. I set my wig down on my chair. I'm enjoying the concert. Everybody's chairs, whatever. And at the end of the concert, I turn around and pick up my bags. My wig's gone. Like, they didn't steal your bag? They stole your wig? No, they didn't wig. steal my bag. They didn't steal my <laughs> jacket. They didn't steal anything but my wig. That's how good it looked. <laughs> That's how good I it was. You, gotta send, good you, have, to send me a, you <laughs> have to send me a picture. And it was like an Amazon $11 uh, wig. But when you style it, it looks great, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you layer it. You fluff it up. You texturize it. Oh, yeah. I get a it, lot of my stuff And it looks online. very expensive. But it was only eleven dollars. I turned around and it was gone. I said, "Oh damn, what am I doing now?" <laughs> but at least I had okay hair under here. There's worse things that you could have lost at the festival. I've lost cell phones. I've lost my uh, my uh, Samsung gear. Yeah. I've lost cameras, expensive yeah. cameras. And I guess eleven dollars ain't bad. Yeah, so you're you're <laughs> fine. You'll you'll she'll recover, guys. I know. She will recover. <sighs> I guess. I think so. I'll be fine. So what do you hope for, like, for your career in the future? Like, what do you what do you want from it? Like, what are you hoping to achieve mainly? I want to be able to just do what I love doing, be able to support myself and live life to the fullest and be happy. I don't feel like I need to follow a certain path that mm -hmm. society has set out. Mm -hmm. If my choices aren't a lot of the same choices that other people would choose, it doesn't really matter because it's only my life. And you're you're allowed to fuck up at this age. Yeah, right? <laughs> you're allowed to make plenty of mistakes yeah, at this age. You know, I didn't really start really enjoying or figuring myself out until like I was like in my mid thirties. You know, mm -hmm. I'm 38 by the way, in case anyone was like wondering. <laughs> but hey, <laughs> listen, you. <coughs> Listen, you. <coughs> How old? <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> I look good for my age, whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, so, I, you know, when you're, like, in your 20s, maybe even into your, like, early 30s, there's nothing mm -hmm. wrong with, like, making mistakes. That's how you learn. Yeah. You know, and there's people out there who are, like, in their 40s and 50s that have never really gotten to live or enjoy That's their life I'm or do things of. and like don't don't be one of those people. That's go, what I'm so you know, afraid of. You eat that extra slice of cake, go on that trip, splurge a little, <laughs> buy yourself something you like. You know, yeah. as long as you work hard, you should be able to enjoy your life and enjoy your exactly. money, you know? If you can't do that then there's no point of living really, yeah. you know? Exactly. Or lack there of money. So <laughs> <laughs> Well <laughs> just enjoy it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Because there's always going to be enough time to make more money. You'll always find different ways to like survive and live. But mm -hmm. you know, you can't That's waste thing, all your yeah. good years. You know, one day That's you're going to wake thing. up and you're old and wish you, you know, took that trip to London when exactly. you were younger, but you didn't. So. The thing you you can't have back is the time. That's mm -hmm. the only thing that everyone has, but you can't ha take back. Mm -hmm. You know, you could have money, you could mm -hmm. lose money, you can make money completely in one second mm -hmm. but the time it, you can't go back in time you can't take that second back you can't take that um, experience back mm -hmm. or you can't go back in time and wish you you experienced it do you with the way you feel about things do you mm -hmm. have any regrets in life let me see. What do you, since you like, regret? since you're sitting here saying that like, oh, whatever, it's my life, like, is there anything yeah. that you wish you would have done differently? You know what? I wish I was not in my way all the damn time. Isn't that weird? Like, what? <laughs> okay. What does so, that even mean? <laughs> so when I look at myself now, I wish I could go back to my younger self and say, stop, like, stop doubting yourself mm. or 
stop making excuses of why you can't do something or why you shouldn't do something mm -hmm. because you're scared or just the unknown. The yeah, unknown yeah. is scary. You've always been the more cautious yeah, one. Yeah, so like, I always we... have to make sure everything's okay and I'm going to survive or if whatever happens from whatever I decide that I could recover from it. And it hindered a lot of experiences in life that I should have experienced. Yeah. So I don't have any particular event or time that I could say, oh, I totally regret that. I should have did that or I wish I didn't do that. Mm -hmm. I think it was just overall the small the small things. Just the feeling yeah, that was uh, always there that made you yeah. feel like you held you back. Yeah. yeah. Because honestly, I didn't do anything too crazy where it would destroy my life. Mm -hmm. So I should have just took that small leap. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, so maybe just being a little more less cautious or a little more adventurous. Yeah. That would be my regret. Well, you're pretty adventurous now. It's never yeah. too late to like wake up one day yeah. and say, fuck it, I'm going to do this, you know? Who's skydiving with me? We're going next Tuesday at <laughs> 9 o'clock. A.M. I no, am so right down. I can't find anyone to go with me. I want to jump off the stratosphere, but everyone's like, oh, it's, you know, scary. I'm like, no, it's not. The new one? The Strat. Is it called the Strat now? It's the now? Strat now. Oh. They're, they're shortening everything on the strip to a few letters. I don't even go on the strip. There's a yo so. like an Oyo? Or what the hell? An Oyo? Is that a new... I, you the know Hooters more about one? the strip now than oh I do. Oh my gosh, you I live don't... in Vegas. Uh, <laughs> I live in Vegas. <laughs> I yeah. live in Vegas. I'm at home <laughs> playing video games. Yeah, they're shortening every uh, every name just shorter now. Making it a little more trendy mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah, it's a little faster to stay. Speaking than... of names, you went from Asia to Aja. Uh -huh. what, was, what was the reason behind that? I don't know. It sounded more sexy. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't want to be Asian. <laughs> it's oh, actually, oh my. Uh, I started off as Asia, and I shot with Francine D mm -hmm. a couple years back, and then she called me Aja, and I said, oh my gosh, I love the way that sounds. And I just started saying Aja from then on, so. Oh. So, I guess I hit puberty. From now on, I'm going to go by Ms. Ray. <laughs> Ray. Ms. Ray. Ms. Ray. <laughs> See, I told you she was a butt. <laughs> All right, guys, that's enough time. Uh, plenty of time for today. Um, is there anything that you wanted to plug um, that's coming up for you? Or? Um, my phone's dying, so maybe plug that in. So, can you do it? Just kidding. Um, I have an Instagram, so follow me on Instagram. I'm going to be updating a lot of things on Twitter and all the other avenues. What is your uh, <laughs> handle on Instagram? Uh, it's Aja Chachansi. It's A-J-A-C-H-A-C-H-A-N-H-S-Y. Long Laos and Thai last name, sorry. <laughs> it's a lot of letters. It's a minimum of 16. <laughs> yeah, right? Well, thank you so much for coming. Right. I love you so much. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Someone get away from me. Hi, this is Misery Yuan with WWDB TV, and you are here watching my show, Misery Loves Company. Today, I have a wonderful guest for us. Let's welcome the lovely Aja Chansey. Yay! Oh my God! Whoa, wait, 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 wait! Cut, cut! Oh my! What are you wearing? <laughs> I said no green. You said wear green. No, I said no. Oh my you god. Can, can we get a cut? Can we please get her back in wardrobe? No. Please, please, wardrobe. You said I can only wear green. Honey, we have to. I didn't bring anything. <laughs> we'll figure something out. I got you. Go buy something. <gasps>